All right, so here it is, the first fire shrine. Let's do this. Oh, that's kind of anticlimactic. And then I'm going to basically beeline it right to that other one. I thought something magical would happen, like it would burst up into flames and then a dark child of the nethers would appear and soak up my sins. That's creepy, actually, how those crows come flying out of there. Let's do this, Bargast. Yoink. Okay. We're, uh, we're making pretty good time here, actually. Killing a few, uh, demon dogs on the way. Never hurt anybody. Except for the demon dogs, obviously, but... And just for the record, uh... I, Geralt, am 100% against animal abuse. Um, unless they're, like, possessed demons. I think then it's, it's only fair, really. These guys, like, they just don't stop. What is this thing? It's like a monkey. Maybe I'm still drunk. Possible. I hope the rain doesn't put out those fires I just lit. Be right pissed. Burbicane. Yeah. All right, this would be the fourth out of the five that we need to do. Oh, hi. Sure, I might have to hurry this up too because uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, these all have to be done at night, he said. I don't know how strict he's going to be on that, but. It's hard to tell exactly what the, what the time is. I can see the little moon thing in the top right there, but I mean, obviously it's still dark. Here's the fifth one. Oh, are you kidding me? These things must just guard this. Uh oh. Oh, they took out all those guys. There we go. Man, kind of feel sorry for these dudes, but I mean. Wow. Here I am just like picking their pockets. Haven't been dead for more than two minutes. Okay. Everything is lit. To not drive the Bargus away. Wow. So, we have to actually go see uh, the Reverend for a couple of things. We got to see him about the chapel things. And we also need to talk to him about gaining everybody's trust. So, feeling pretty good so far. 
Making some good progress. Let's head in here. See if he treats me with, well, a little bit nicer than last time. He was kind of a ween bag. That's right. Said that. Speak quickly. Nope. Still kind of an ass. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us. I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Oh, interesting. Don't Look at this. caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps. But I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will. For 300 orins. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it. Wow, I'm... E easily bargained. Now we're gonna have to go back to Abigail. Speak quickly. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the Crypt of Ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the Beast Witcher. Damn. That is my condition. I'll see you later. This guy. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the Eternal Fire illuminate your path. Speak quickly. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen. Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the Elven Witch. Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, Witcher? So tell me. Who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer! Who? I apologize, Reverend. I remember this. Whosoever blasphemes deserves no forgiveness. We actually talked to him about this already. I'll see you later. Okay, so now I actually need to go back and talk to Abigail again because... Whoa. So, as I was saying, we actually need to go talk to Abigail again because he, the Reverend wants me to learn where this beast came from and he thinks that the local witch is the chief suspect. So, I'm gonna have to eventually find out where this beast is, kill this said beast, and then perhaps maybe he will actually tell me about the Salamandra and what's going on there. So, there's that. Now, there's a couple of things that I need to figure out here. I need to figure out where the witch is. So it's right here. I'm maybe just going to run through the forest. I have to go back to the inn at some point. And then that's pretty much it. I can't remember where Kalkstein does his business. Because you guys had mentioned that that's a place that I should... Um, That's a, or that's a, a guy I should visit to sell some stuff, so. I dig it, it's a good idea. And that traveler's not here. Maybe he only comes around in the daytime. I guess that's possible. So what I may do, I'm gonna actually avoid these guys if I can. I think I'm just going to try running through this forest, which actually might be a bad idea if uh, I can't run up there, so maybe not. No.
No, I can't run right through. There goes that idea. That's okay. Look at the beautiful rain. Just pretend like you enjoy it. I don't know if it's beneficial, like, just to avoid these guys. I mean, I could obviously kill them. Uh, maybe for, like, an extremely uh, small amount of experience. But I'm thinking for the time it takes to do it, it's pr I'm probably better off just saying screw them and ditch. One thing I have to say is I've been reading the uh, the Witcher, the book called The Last Wish. And uh, basically what it is, in case you don't know, it's not based on this. or th This game is not just exactly what's in that book. Um, it's, it's basically short stories about the Witcher meeting up with certain people and... Um, it's basically situations that he encounters, but not necessarily sequ sequential, or, uh, is that the word I'm looking for? It's not necessarily in order, it's just excerpts from, like, stories, which is really quite cool. Oh man, okay, I didn't even see this guy. Um, so, I, what I was trying to say is that I would highly suggest, if you guys are interested in the, uh, in the Witcher universe, check out the book, The Last Wish. It's, I can't even pronounce the guy's last name. It's like Andrei Shakapov or something like that. <laughs> so do not quote me on how I said that, but you know what I mean. It's pretty cool. And apparently there's a whole bunch of them, but not all of them are translated, so... I have two. And uh, I really enjoyed the first one so far. All right, Abigail, what is up? What do you want? First of all, do you want to buy anything? No, of course you don't. All right. What do you want? Do I want to just like tattle on the Reverend? Be like, yo, well, the Reverend thinks. I'm just gonna ask. Like, do you know where this thing is? I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. Oh. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. I actually might already have that. To gather herbs, left click on plants. Yeah, not a big deal. Let's see here, which one's Myrtle? Is it this? No, it's Celandine. White Myrtle, boom. I already have all this, Abby. Wake up. What do you want? I've got your plants. I gathered the Myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witches' secrets, are you? <laughs> the recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witches' magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. So... I should return in a while. Great. When I grow up, I'll also wear a ponytail. So, maybe I should go to the inn and then come back? Or maybe this is one of those things where, like, I can just leave and then... Oh, hello. So this beast, I'm actually... Where's this thing going? Oh, no. He just killed someone. Uh, this beast. I'm thinking that, uh, it's that sometimes we see, like, that devil dog thing spawn, and then it spawns, like, a bunch of these bargasts. So I'm wondering if that's this the beast. Anyways, I'm going to go back in now and see if, like, I just have to kind of leave and then go back type of thing. 
She's not even working. She's just sleeping. What do you want? Is the potion ready? Yes. Boom. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? What? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children. Whoa. Torturing the witch's puppy again. Innocent blood. Evil face is twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Show her you're a man. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born. Jeez, man. Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who has summoned me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Oh, I'm sleepy. Whoa. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, <sighs> preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. B unit was here. Received Hellbound Soul. Okay, what do we got going on here? These scrolls, I believe I can get rid of once I read them. Notes containing the formula for a potion made using a Frightener's Eye. The potion grants one bronze talent when consumed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Notes contain the formula for a potion made using traces left by the Hellhound. Potion grants one silver talent when consumed. Also pretty cool. Okay, so now, once again, back to the Reverend. It would be great to be able to take a shortcut. But that's not going to happen. So, I'll tell you guys about some stuff that's coming up while this is going on. Kind of bust, bust up the immersion a bit, but it's all good. Um, I'm actually going to New York on May 17th with uh, my wife and a buddy of mine. I've been to New York before. It's pretty awesome. And uh, I'm actually... It's good timing because the Blue Jays are playing against the Yankees when I'm there, and I'm a, I'm a big baseball fan. So I'll be going to uh, three baseball games. I know people hate baseball, but I love it. Uh, pretty stoked, especially because I'm being Canadian. I, I like the Blue Jays. Uh, it's too bad we don't have the Expos here anymore, but I didn't actually live in Montreal when the Expos were here, so it's all good. Uh, but I have a question. If you guys know of anything cool to do in New York. I mean, obviously, there's a ton of stuff to do there. But if you guys know of anything that you think I would enjoy, whether it be uh, some interesting types of museums or any specific, like, comedy clubs, stuff like that to check out, I would really love to hear about it. So, that would be great. Don't worry, though. I know you're probably like, oh, videos! Maybe you're not. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... I will have some videos pre-recorded in advance to uh, have for you guys. And I'll probably do some type of video while I'm there. Um, not gaming, obviously, but I'll maybe talk a little bit about what I'm doing there and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty stoked. I actually really love New York. I love traveling in general. And I wish I could do it more often, but with work, it's sometimes hard to get all the time off, right? So... Oh. Oh no, we're on the right track. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. We have, uh, in Canada, we have this, what's called, um, May Long Weekend. It's, uh, celebrating some type of national holiday that's, you know, there's nothing special about it. Uh oh Yeah, so this thing, is this that frickin' hound? 